Clark is following Captain Randolph, just like you figured he would. How about the cavalry? They're on the wrong trail. We're not on the wrong trail now. This is the way Randolph and Steve Clark came, all right. Yeah, they're heading for Ghost City. Yeah, huh? And Randolph's gold raiders will be waiting there for him. Come on! <laughs> Sounds like he's coming down the hall now. The men are in the rooms on both sides, ready for him. as far away from Ghost City as you can. They mustn't know this is our hideout. Out the back way, men. Randolph! Randolph and the Raiders are in that old rooming house. We'll follow, but sneak back and spend the night in one of these buildings. What for? Randolph didn't lead me here for nothing. If the Raiders are using this for a base, they'll come back and show themselves. But Colonel Sewell has scoured all these parts for every possible hideout. Just the same. We're here. We'll see for ourselves. Oh, well, I guess it's worth a try. Now, Captain? I overheard Clark and that Wells Fargo detective decide to come back and spend the night. Smartness, huh? Why'd you blast them both when you had the chance? Well, that'd only bring others to search Ghost City. Now, if they leave here convinced the town is deserved, there'll be no further search and our hideout will be safe. Well, that's smart, too. But what about Brack? Oh, he let the Yanks chase him all night. You keep a sharp lookout, Slim. Looks like we've drawn a blank all along the line. Well, we still had barn. Say when, Captain. What's oh, Kathy? How'd you know we was here, Kathy? The cavalry reported back to Colonel Sewell. But what do you know? The war is over. Over? This ain't no time for jokes. General Lee surrendered to General Grant at a place called Appomattox. Sure now, Kathy? We just got the news over the telegram. Honest, Idaho. Yeah, <laughs> Come on, let's get letter. Yeah. is over. We fought to the best of our ability, but we lost. What happens to us now? I'll surrender, of course. But as you men aren't regular soldiers, you can go where you wish. Slim just told me the news. What are you going to do? Captain Randolph was just saying something about surrendering. What about your connections in Orr Grandy? 
Now that you're back, Braddock, I intend to take care of them. That's fair enough. When are you riding? Right now. You got us together, he didn't. What do you say about all this? Captain Randolph's a soldier. We're not. I got you into this because there's lots of money in it, war or no war. Now, how'd you like to go on the raiding gold trains, but this time for a bigger cut? Right. For me. Wait a minute, boys. Tom Jackson wants to say something. I agree with Captain Randolph. I'm pulling out for Alabama. Well, that's your privilege, Tom. We hate to lose you, but good luck. I think you'll be the one that's needing the luck, Braddock, but thanks anyway. I don't think we'll have any more trouble here. The Randolph won't cause none once Morrell learns he plans to surrender. Sorry, son. Be glad. Celebrate. The war's over. Then the news is official. Yep. Peace terms are posted outside the Oro Grande Journal. Is there anything in them about Confederate soldiers surrendering? <laughs> Didn't notice. I was too excited. <laughs> Say, do you know somebody who wants to surrender? I want to. Well, I'll be dogged. You better go see Colonel Sewell. I will, sir. As soon as I take care of some important business from the Golden Eagle. Hey, son! What's your name? Three cheers for old I didn't expect the war to end so soon. Ach, ja, Herr Van Bruggen. But the Confederate gold. Oh, Washington won't worry about gold or rage for a while, Friedrich. And what we have already will be sent to Prussia. And Captain Randolph, he is more and more suspicious. What will he do now? Let me answer that question. Himmel, Herr Hassel, the Halt den Mund im Kopf. Und bleib still. Werde ich mit ihm behandeln. Take a bargain with home, Herr Van Bruggen. Do you represent the King of Prussia or Bismarck as Chancellor? You understand? Yes, I understand German, but I speak good old Tennessee English, too. I suspected Richmond wasn't getting all the gold from our raids, but what you've stolen for Prussia, Washington is going to get. You would help the enemies of your country? No, Morrell. You're my country's enemy. As of today, there is no North or South, only United States. complete list of your Pacific Coast agents. Well, the South paid me to operate an expert spy ring. Yes, but I don't think Colonel Sewell or Steve Clark will appreciate your efforts. No more than I appreciate yours, sir. Drop that gun. Thank you, Elsa. Now I will search the captain. This one's a repeat bulletin about President Lincoln having been to Richmond. Colonel Sewell! Colonel, where's your prisoner? What prisoner? The man I bumped into, a Confederate, told me he was surrendered. What did he look like, Doc? Well, clean cut sort of fellow. About your bill. Said he was going out the Golden Eagle and then coming here to see Colonel Sewell. I'm sure that's Clay Randolph, sir. I'll look for him. Here comes another boat. Hmm. Apparently the Hauptman has no papers. Now, Elsa. Uh, perhaps it would be better if you were to leave. Elsa? Is that Prussian Petrina, Mr. Sard? 
I am Countess Elsa von Merck. Well, your country must need gold desperately to send a countess to help steal it. What Prussia wants, Prussia takes. Not from the United States, now or ever. You imply a Prussian defeat, Captain Randolph. May I point out that talk about surrender is more appropriate to you? Yes, but I had expected to surrender to an honorable victor. Instead, I... Is Morel in, Hank? Well, tell him you're here, Braddock. I didn't know that Randolph was in town. Yeah, he told me he's going to see Morel before he surrendered. Wait here. I never expected to see Randolph leave this place walking. Sure a lot of people coming in this morning. Hey, you. Yeah? You know Captain Randolph? Do you mean the man that you and Mr. Sard was talking to yesterday? Yes, have you seen him? Yeah, he was here, but he left. Thanks. Don't you think it'd be a lot safer all around if them two never got together? No, I'd rather have them meet in the street than at Sewell's. He escaped after knocking over the lamp and locked us in. What's the matter? Identification. It was around my neck. Probably got torn off in the dark. Fred may have found it. I'll go back and see. Too bad you didn't get here earlier. If you ask me, I got here just right. Where about in Rawhide? Not doing a little job. I figured you didn't believe in surrendering. So once you're right, Braddock, soldiers should fall in battle. Play! Play Randolph! You're just the man I wanted to see. And you're the man who wants to surrender. And to turn over some gold. And prisoners. Now you're talking. Wait till you hear the real story behind those raids. It'll knock you back on your heels like it did me. Colonel Sewell better hear this, too.